Welcome to the stream. It's me, it's me, it's little TP. Uh, which one of these is my correct headphone? Only one of these, only one of these works. That one, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do that then. Lovely, get out of here, get out of town. Hello everyone, uh, it's me. How's it going? Um, those of you who've been... Oh, Sprout Stuff straight in there with a subscription. Hello. Nice to see you, Sprout Stuff. I feel like I've not seen that name for a while, but it does say you've been subscribed for eight months. Maybe you've just been subscribing on Ben's streams instead. Hello, Sprout Stuff. Uh, and Stephen Scodes as well. Subscribe, says much love to you and Ben. Well, thank you, Stephen. Much love back to you from me and on behalf of Ben. Uh... I am I've this is the last probably the last episode of uh the Chamber of Secrets and uh just in time before before we finish our Harry Potter at least for now if not forever uh I've got I've got new glasses that are round rimmed I didn't do it just because of this stream because they were f flipping expensive these glasses more than they should have been um but you know that would be silly just to do it for a two two hour stream, but I just thought I wanted I wanted round rims anyway. I wanted a good round rim, is what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, we're in uh, Catsinia. Oh Jesus, that's a long one. Uh, Catsiniaurus, Catsinia aurorus. Oh, sorry, just butchering that. Uh, subscribed. Subscribe for six months. Wowzers. Um, fantastic. Thank you. Uh, doodly do. So, who's here? We've got Carrie the Worst. Who's asked how I am. Very good, thank you. Louis Joe Webber's here. How do peeps liking the glasses? Some blipendos in that message as well, straight away. I uh, hope you're feeling better and you have a good stream. As sadly, I can't stick around today. But have these blipendos, 47 of them. Big love to you, little man. Well, thank you, Louis Joe Weber. Sorry you can't be with us. Uh, but very kind of you to blip my end. Um, and uh, check out the VOD if you like. Um, and, I'm, and I'm very well, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. So it's all good. It's all nice. Uh, yeah, that's why we're having a late stream. Late, late in the week. Normally I'm a Monday, of course, and I'll be straight back in next Monday to do the next installment of uh, the next episode of whatever we're playing uh, and uh, but yeah this this week I was I was off sickums on Monday but I'm fine now thank you um, so uh, do 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 people are saying oh, Sprout Stuff says no not forever in terms of us not doing Harry Potter again yeah we might do some more I might try Prisoner of Azkaban at least on PS2 or PC because that it's probably still probably my favourite book in the series. Question mark? Question mark? Yeah, I don't know. They all kind of blur into one for me. Or sort of, sort of the late, the last two-fifths kind of blur into one in my head because I uh, I read them all just back to back um, for the first time. Um, does he start going on little adventures with Dumbledore in Order of the <laughs> Phoenix, or is that a bit later on? Because I seem to remember, I can't remember if I liked Order of the Phoenix quite a lot, or or really didn't like it. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all just, it's all just Harry Potter, isn't it? Uh, F Fatal <laughs> Exception has subscribed with Twitch Prime. Oh, the subscriptions are too many. Fatal Exception has subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Um, Archers be Cray, version three. Wow. <laughs> has subscribed as well via Twitch Prime. Thank you. Hope you're feeling better today, Peter. Thanks for all the great content. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Abdominal kiwi. Abdom. Oh, sorry. It's ab abominable, not abdominal. <laughs> I mean, you know, what's the difference? Uh, abominable Kiwi. Hi, Tiny Peter. I'm not here often, but you guys are doing fantastic. Well, thank you, Abominable Kiwi, for subscribing. Um, very nice. Stuart Black 70 subscribed. 
Uh, oh, I keep getting mixed up. When it says they've subscribed for two months, I th I keep thinking that that's they're on a two month streak. But then on Stuart Black's, it says they've been subscribed for two months, and then it says also on a two month streak. So some people are just subscribing in like big big chunks that I've been assuming are streaks, but uh, but aren't actually streaks. They're just people subscribing for several months at a time, which is great. In any case, thank you, Ab uh, uh, Abominable Kiwi and Stuart Black seventy for your subscriptions, and I think. Certainly, according to the chat, we're all caught up. Oh, and there's the Stunkler. The Stunkler says, uh, would you guys ever consider collaborating with Up Is Not Jump? Uh, I think you can make some fantastic content together. We love Up Is Not Jump. Uh, me and Ben both watch a little bit of Up Is Not Jump in our free time. Um, admittedly, it's been a while since I've seen any of his stuff, actually. But the last time I checked in on what he was doing, his production value's gone right up, hasn't it? You know, I watched his first... God, I can't. I can't think. Maybe first half dozen videos or something, and they were all. I mean, they've always been good, but. Uh, I pulled up to the house about seven or eight, and I yelled to the cabbie, "Yo, Holmes, I sent my key." Bird seeds. Bird seeds. Thank you, uh, Empyrean Seven, for that donation. They're very kind of you. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Up is not jump. Very good stuff. Oh, Stephen. Peter Austin is the one of the most wonderful and fun human beings in the world. Oh it my was. god. Lovely talking to you and Ben on Discord the other day. Oh, thank you, Stephen. What a kind thing to say. I am I am bereft of bereft of heart. It has burst. Uh thank you very, very much indeed. Uh nice to talk to you, Stephen. Uh and Imperian Seven, our our two donors, uh on uh Discord the other day. If you guys want to talk to me and Ben on Discord, voice chat, uh, we do it every single month. Uh, I think going forward it'll be on the same night as whenever the sleepover stream is. Um, for I believe ten dollars on Patreon, Patreon, uh, that's our that's our reward for our lovely Walrus Children tier um, patrons. It's time. We've done the the old eight minute the old eight minute intro waiting for people to, to arrive and stuff, and now we're ready to enter the Chamber of Secrets. Um, so someone replied to my uh, tweet that I put out saying, hey, I'm going live in a minute with Harry Potter, and said, Peter, the all-important question, did you go back in your free time and get us to a point of 100%? Uh, or in which 100% will be doable. Because if you watched last week's stream, you'll know that we discovered we have uh, lost potentially a Witches and Wizards card, and if not, then certainly a class trophy uh, irretrievably. Um, and I was debating just restarting the game in my free time and working up to the point where we, where we left off. Um, the answer to that question is no. No, I didn't. I've been so busy this week. Or I felt like I've been so busy. I think what what it really is, is like sort of at the tail end of last week, um, that felt very busy because Mighty, Mighty Johnson came, came up to Newcastle and we filmed some triple jump stuff here in the office on the Friday. And then on the Saturday, we filmed some video stuff and very kindly in the triple jump Colaholic offices. Adam Pachiti was like, sure, you do video stuff if you, if you want to do it here on, on our on our premises with our property. Um, and then we streamed that night. And then Sunday I had to do everything that I need to, needed to do for my, you know, that I would normally do on my weekend. So I did all my life admin. Then Monday I was being a Sikkim's boy. Uh, and then this week, you know, I've been handling the, the video editor applicants. I've still not sent any of the feedback out that I promised I would and I will do, but I'm just such a busy man. Um, it'll be coming if you're waiting for some. Um, and, oh, ah, uh, so, no, it didn't happen. But anyway, here we are. Let me just load wherever it was that we saved. This is where we are. We're about to go into the Defense Against the Dark Arts storeroom. Uh, let me know how the... Strange. Why is the door locked? Audio is. I'd better find another that way looks around. looks a bit high, actually. I might turn that. I'm going to turn that down a touch, but let me know if I'm wrong to do so. Um, for some reason, our our software, our streaming software, has just had a bit of a had a bit of a plop, and it's needed some stuff resetting up. 
some of these like inputs and outputs, and as a result, I may have I may have wink wonked the audio levels a little bit, but you let me know. Uh, right. There are just a couple of buips I missed while I was monologuing, and then we will literally begin. I'm so sorry. I, it always takes me ages. Uh, Zico33 subscribed. Hello. Thank you. Welcome to the Walrus Clan. Uh, nice to have you with us. And also, Geeky Fool Love also subscribed via Twitch Prime. You guys can subscribe via Twitch Prime. If you've got Amazon Prime, there's a little free Twitch subscription in that for you. You might not even know about. I didn't know about it till we started doing Twitch. Um, but, uh... Oh, what's the point of even having the beans if you're unable to re return to the entrance hall now to get into Out of Bounds? Whoa! Hang on. What, what, what was that? Oh, I'm not fast enough. I'm losing a lot of health as well. Um, yeah, uh, you can subscribe by Twitch Prime basically in no extra cost to yourself. If you're already paying for Amazon Prime just because you want it, you can... Uh... Jesus! A little bit unforgiving. You really have to be ready for this thing. Okay. Um... Yeah, it won't cost you anything. We'll we'll get the usual uh, financial boost from your subscription, but it's just part of your your Amazon Prime. So, oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Damn it. Usually, with um, puzzles like this, there's some sort of visual clue as to which ones are going to be available to step into on the next the next swoosh right I think this one oh no oh god damn it okay screw the bean we know we don't need the beans why am I going for beans yeah we don't need the beans Oh no, there's more. I can't afford to can't afford to take a hit on this one. Oh hang on. Oh sorry, the alerts. Uh yeah, let me let me sorry. Sorry. That should now yeah, I just I just balked that. Let me just do a test. Yeah, my, that's my my bad. They weren't showing up over the top of stuff. But that was from Lucy Victoria ninety, who subscribed by Twitch Prime. Three month streak there. Well, thank you, Lucy Victoria. Sorry you didn't get your name uh, up on on the screen there. That's my bad. Uh, like I say, we've been messing around with that. I'm gonna die. Harry, no. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His <laughs> hair is as dark as a blackboard. I wish he was mine. H E S truly divine, the hero who conquered the Dark Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Schadenfreude09, uh, for that wonderful robotic rendition of the Yorkshire Cupid's uh, poem. I can't remember the sort of rhythm or tune, but I'll give it a go. Uh, oh no, it's gone now. Let me pull it up. No, I can't. It's not there. Donation history it might be. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair, it's a bit Mr. Botter, isn't it? But not quite. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is as dark as a blackboard. I wish he was mine. He's truly divine. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. Very good. Who actually, who actually arranges for that Valentine's card to go to him? Is it Ginny? That doesn't seem like... She's so nervous about it, though. Like, would would she really? 
Or does someone do it to like embarrass him? Is it like Malfoy? Is that ever... Is that ever disclosed? It was Ginny, Sprout Stuff says. God, fancy saying his eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. You love him. Sounds like something Peeves would sing. It was Ginny Weasels, people are saying. I mean, it was... Oh! Oh no! This is really hard. You've got to know... Ooh, you've got to know exactly what you, where, you, where your cue is. Oh, it must be soon. Please. Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh, there was, there was a two... an opportunity to be there for longer. No! Ah. Jesus! Yeah, it gives you two goes, though, to get... to get... Ah! ah. To get there. Jo God damn it! No! Ah. It's really difficult! Flippin' X! Sprout Stuff makes a good point. She was only 11. I guess so. You have no idea how many times I registered to those dwarves to learn those lyrics then discovered they were all on the Potter wiki. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, Jesus, I'm not paying attention. It's this one, isn't it? I'm thinking about the next room. Okay. I think it restarts, though, whenever you get hit by the wind, so at least you don't have to wait around for ages. Oh. Okay. All those Fs in the chat for me there. Thank you very much. Very considerate. Oh, Jesus. This one ticks too quickly, I think. You really have to know that it's that it's coming up. That's just unbelievable. Okay, there we go. Just got to remember, I've got to do the last two steps in one go. Oh! Okay, I don't have to do the last two steps in one go, but I have to make it onto the final square by then. I, un I understand what I mean. Oh no! I'm really not, I'm really not concentrating here. That doesn't help, does it? No! Jump in the gun. Okay. Right. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, oops. Oh! I knew it! That was a B-Wave right there. Oh my god! Instant death! Uh, thank you very much, uh, Rogan1118. 1118. That subscription there. Is it gonna send me all the way back, or can I now at least just fight the knights? Oh my god, I'm all the way back here. Well, I did... I must admit, I did a lot of Cheater Austin there, which I'm just going to stick with. Nintendo. What are you going to do about it? Uh, hello? Nintendo. Weird. Um, do I jump down there? Or do I skirt past this fella? And, and see what, 
see what's going on around here. Use door. Nintendo! Oh, look at that. It's like a... It's like a green man. Hello? In Verdimilius? No? Cheater! Cheater in the forbidden corridor. So it's so hard to spot spot the Verdimilius. Oh, it's gonna disappear before you even even get a chance. Can I activate the Verdimilius from here? No. Can I jump to the first platform from this platform? Let's see. Yes, okay, that's fine. Through we go. Oh look, the little tiny pocket Pete is finally available. If you let this guy strike at you, and then he opens his chest up for some reason, he just makes himself vulnerable, which is really strange. Okie dokes, let's pull this lever. Pull that lever and get your own back! <laughs> these are strange, these, these foliate heads, I believe is the academic term. Oh, come on, Harry! Oh, Verdimilius. Oh! Verdimilius, your, your dead mother in a minute. Oh, yeah, you... Oh, you better believe... Oh, there's a monster in here. <laughs> I can hear it growling. Ah. Uh, what did that door say? Duh. Hang on, the, what was that? Warning, keep out dangerous creatures inside. I can hear it. Although I feel like I just... It's a kitten. Well, is it gonna hurt me? Hello, Mrs. Norris? Crookshanks? Ah. Oh. People are saying kill it in the chat. Okay. Looks a bit like Garfield, doesn't it? Oh, you can't kill it. It's invincible. That's probably Peter Pettigrew in 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 his cat form. Weird. So you you're kind of like too scared to come in here, but then you come in and there's just loads of beans. <laughs> it's a bit of a strange thing, but okay. Ooh, uh oh, Harry, you just defied the laws of physics there. That's actually Miss Norris. Oh, okay. Forgive me. I'm glad we're coming back here, actually, because I've realised I can fight this guy. I can I can get this fella. I forgot that he, like... Oh! I was about to say, I forgot that he stops to take a swing at you. Um, God, I hope we're not going all the way... I mean, fortunately, Cheater Austin is here to save the day, but... Is it going to send... Send us back to... Imagine playing this legit. Oh. Uh, yes, it did. Okay. <laughs> right, it's okay. We'll kill this guy now, though, because what I, what I was going to say was... I forgot that he... When he's going to swing at you, he, he does sort of stop. So you can kind of just let him... Yeah. So that's not... Not too... Difficult. Uh, right, we know where we're going now. We know what we're doing. We'll just run run through. Isn't that the cat that got stuck down the well in the last game? Yes, it is, Kane Jake. Well spotted. It's exactly the same one that you win Guardian Leviosa up to the top of the well. Loads more Fs in chat for me there. Thank you, everyone. Hup. 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 Uh, sometimes drop in the chat where we can share it again. What was Katie Paul saying? Someone just replied to Katie Paul. 
doesn't work for me. What's going on? What's going on, Katie Pole and uh, and uh, Lobrovich? Anything we could help you with? Um, Flipendo! Flipendo! Swing! Flipendo! Flipendo! Biff. Flipendo! Headless. My request to join the headless hunt has been denied. Hello, Harry Potter. I'm nearly headless, Nick, and I'm the Gryffindor house ghost. There we go. I want those house points, guys. That's why I'm doing this. I know I could just run past him. Um, someone earlier in chat, I, I meant to read it out, asked if there's a nude mod for this game. I, I certainly hope not, given that these children are all in year two of, of secondary school, which is... Uh, well, that's 12 and 13 year olds. The oldest kids in this year are 13. So, oh, I should absolutely hope not. Oh, okay, well, it's just as well I came down here because there's a very dangerous kitten in here. Imagine if the game, like, trolled you by, you know, the first few times you come in here and then die and respawn, it's always a kitten. And then, like, on the sixth time that you die, it's actually just Voldemort. Hermione's 13 from nearly the beginning, says Sprout Stuff. Is she born in uh, September? Anyway, not that that would make, I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't know Hermione's birthday. But yeah, we don't want the nudie 12 and 13 year olds, thank you. Nude, uh, nudie Headless Nick, that would be nice. I'm all for that. Let's have the nude mod of that. And Peeves. Let's see Peeves' little, little, polter, little polter dick. Right, let's do a let's do a save. Am I gonna be able to safely drop down here? Yes. Use door. Use door. Alright then. September the nineteenth, says Sprout Stuff, is Hermione's birthday. Okay. Oh hello. It's uh it's, it's Mr. I refuse to retake my class, even though you want to try again at the uh, oh, the trophy. Mr. Potter, I, I'm rather busy at the moment. Professor, I have some information for you. I think Moaning Myrtle is the girl who was killed by the monster 50 years ago. She may know where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is. Ah, uh, well, okay, if you're sure. Oh, but there was another door. Oh, screw you. I hate when games do that. Although I probably should have. Why is the door locked? No. I'd better find another way around. Oh, Jesus! What? Again, lucky I quick saved. Otherwise, we'd have to go. Jesus, that's ridiculous. Although I was, to be fair, I was about to ask, how silly is it that Lockhart has to go through the, the wind-blowing tunnel to get to his office? But I guess he normally just comes through this door, but he's locked it. But that's really strange. Uh, anyway. Let's just... Oh, Mr. Po Professor. Ah, uh... Uh, sure, whatever. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Cecil Prompts and Lobrovich are both in the chat. You. Moderating your asses you off. To ask you how you died. Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right in here. I died in this very bathroom. I remember it so well. I did in it here because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. Aww. I hid in a cubicle and started crying. It's then a mean. I heard a boy come in. He said something funny, a different language. Parcel tongue. 
Hello? Myrtle? I'll do it. Anyway, I unlocked the door to tell him to go and use... How? No idea. I just remember seeing a pair of great big eyes. And my whole body seized up and I was floating away. Where did you see the eyes? In its eye sockets. Where do you think they were? By the sinks. Okay. Oh my god, Lockhart's running animation. The traps are turning into snakes. Try saying something in parcel tongue. Okay, I'll try. Open. <laughs> Open. Come to me. I'll go first. Yeah. Well, like yeah, never mind the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher going first. We'll be right behind you, Harry. Won't we, Professor? Oh, dear. Harry Potter turned vegan. He now speaks parsley tongue. <laughs> Very good, Embalum. I love that. Uh, Peeps, do you have thoughts on Naughty Dog? Rem oh, no! about to get serious. <laughs> I'm get serious about this. Uh, Peeps, do you have thoughts on Naughty Dog removing multiplayer from The Last of Us 2 after saying it would be in? I mean, I feel sorry for people who... It still says follow the spiders, by the way, on our objective. I feel sorry for people who are, you know, really looking forward to, to having it, especially given that they apparently said it was in, which I didn't even know if they'd said that or not, but I guess they had. Uh, but personally, I really don't care at all. Like, I've never liked the multiplayer in... Um, the Last of Us or Uncharted like I know some people really like it the only re relatively recently turned off the servers for Uncharted and I think The Last of Us as well um, I won't miss it at all I really couldn't care less but I you know it's a shame for people who were excited for it okay here we go I don't want to slide faster there might be beans oops oh no it's good music Wah! Oh my god. Oh, Ron! Ron! He nearly died! I don't think there's any beans. I think we just have to get to the bottom in time. I don't know what in time means in the context of, you know, what's going on, but. <laughs> god. Uh, are you going to restart me from the slide or what? What's going to happen here? Yeah, okay. Oof. He really drops like a like a ton of bricks, doesn't he? Biff! And he just slaps the slaps the corner there. Okay, let's let's go full speed. See if Ron and Lockhart always catch up with you. Oh, they do. Ron. I do like slide levels in, in games where you go really fast and stuff, but the only thing is the controls on this are really wonky. Bit. Listen to him slap the corner. <laughs> Love it. Uh, so, because I was, I was going to say, I wish there'd been more of these levels, because the only other one was when we were doing the flu network, wasn't it? But um, maybe I don't wish there were more of these. Harry! Peter, I'm sorry, but you must be this tall to go on the ride. Oh, no. Catherine Expert saying, Cheater Austin time? Question mark. No, not yet. I only use it for... for the Mostly for avoiding tedium purposes, but at the moment, I'm enjoying this. I just wasn't enjoying going through the whirl... The whirlwinds over and over again. This is a lot less responsive than you would think it would be, by the way. I know you're probably thinking, just just press left and right, you idiot. Just go around the corner, but... He sort of has, like... He sort of tries... He tends towards the middle of the... Of the... Oh! Of the... Of the slide, but kind of... 
weirdly fish tails sometimes as well. It's a strange thing. Like here, I'm either... If you tap left, he goes, like, onto a bearing of, like, 20 degrees left. And then, so you tap right to adjust for that. And he goes on a bearing of 20 degrees right. Like, you can't tap left or right just to recenter him. He just, like, goes on notches of either there or there. So you're having to sort of zigzag between the two, and it's really weird. I think it's better just to biff around the corners there, actually, because then he just recenters himself. See there, that is... Oh, You've either got a choice of going off to the left or going off to the right. And when you get to a thin bit with no barriers, you're a little bit effed. Zero Dust is getting a bit of motion sickness. <laughs> Oh! People are talking about a game that they remember and enjoying, but I can't... It's gone past for me in the chat, and now I, I want to, like, <laughs> scroll up and see what you're talking about. Oh, no! Ron and Lockhart don't come past anymore, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, Harry! He's got lost... He's got stuck in the dip! It's so weird, <laughs> the way they've done, like, the, the motion on this thing. Okay, off we go. They say when you when you fishtail, you shouldn't break. You should, uh, like, when you're in your car, you shouldn't break. You should just power it out. So maybe I should just go full speed. Oh, you're talking about Monsters, Inc. Scare Island. I've heard of that, but I never played it. Um... Yeah. Oh! Oh, X button to slide faster. Oh, I thought it was up deep. Had to. I've been looking at that so many times, and I didn't even realise. Harry, please. Oh, the dip! It's bad. Oh, I've got further than I've ever been. Might be time to cheat her, Austin. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. To be fair to the game, this might not... This might not be as much the game's fault as I'm making it out to be, because sometimes when you oh, when you map a controller to an emulator, it doesn't actually behave in exactly the same way as the native consoles controller would have done. Like when we played the disc game on uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2, and just the analog stick literally had a different set of behaviours to how it would have done in. Uh, uh, on the console version. Uh, Harry, please! Uh, TP, this is almost child abuse. People saying cheater Austin. Is it time? Maybe it's time. You just have to point your feet wherever it is that you want to go. And that's that's kind of what. It's just, I think actually it's because he's got a really wide turning circle. It seems to be. 
you know, like I'll, I'll walk you through what I'm doing. So I'm getting down to here. I tap right on the D-pad once, and he, he faces the right way, but it takes him a really long time to turn. So you end up tapping it more than once to speed up his turn, but then he oversteers. So, you know, it's a bit of a funny one. Huh, save. I saved it. Okay, good. Oh, there's no wall! Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Power. Ah! Oh my god, I did a trick. I gotta, I gotta remember that that little divot there. What would I do without the cheater Austin tactics, man? This is this is not, this is really actually quite difficult. I'm still not entirely sure how much of it is my fault and how much of it is the game's fault. We're running out of time though. Get in there. Get in the snake hole. Jesus, we made it, everyone. Sorry to hear you don't love the medieval demo, peeps. I was thinking you'd be all over it whilst I was playing it. Although I remembered you being a bigger fan of the original than you actually are. Yeah, like I... Ben is actively not a fan of medieval. So he wasn't, you know, I, I don't think he was ever going to really enjoy it. I... I just have mixed thoughts about medieval. Oh, welcome, Harry. Here you are at last. Yeah, sorry, Lockhart. It took me a while. I think he's lost it. Lost it? What? No, 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 no. Not the great Gilderoy Lockhart. It's just that now is the time to end this little adventure. See? I shall go back to the school, tell them it was too late to save the girl, and that you both tragically lost your minds at the sight of her dead body. Oh, no. I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna try and hit us with one of his memory charms. Yes, indeed. The famous Lockhart memory charm. So how are you going to explain it when another child dies? Oh, we're dueling now. Okay. And I've started on like a quarter health against the defense against the dark arts teacher. This this seems very fair. What he can hit the ceiling. Um, yeah, I've got mixed feelings about um, Medieval. Like, I totally appreciate what it is, what it did. I think it did it well enough. I think it's doing it well enough now, other than a few performance issues with the demo, and then presumably, therefore, the, the game itself as well. But... Um, I think as much as anything else, it's just that, like, I remember it as a... just a, a PS1 game that was was from an era and, and a genre of things and, and a platform that I really enjoyed and that so it kind of represents something that I really loved even though I didn't actually have any specific strong feelings about medieval so I think that's why I seem to have this this mixed view on it Oh, the frame rate. It's like playing medieval. We're nearly done. There we go. Oh, oh, Olivier blows up. Got him. Got him. How can Gilderoy is the only one not to get the film version in the pick at the bottom? That's a good point. Yeah. Ron. Weird. Are you okay? Ron. Yes, I'm through here. I'm fine. Lockhart isn't though. He got blasted by his own memory charm. What are we going oh, no! to do now? Well, we can't get through this lot. It'll take ages. There's only one thing to do. You wait here and I'll go on. Ginny's been down here for hours. And if we waste any more time, it might be too late. Okay, Harry. 
I'll start trying to shift some of this rock so you can get back through. I mean, you could, you could, both of you just Wingardium Leviosa. See you. <laughs> See you. Or, uh, you know, flipendo it out the way. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's kind of fine. This is kind of what I was talking about, like the week before, when I was saying there are issues with. Um, you know, when you have a world where magic is a thing, there are so many kind of occasions and scenarios where it's like, oh, that could just be solved with magic, though. Like, you can't use the standard trope of like, oh, well, the main character has to go on because he's been separated, and oh, dear, he's going to be forced to go on uh, by himself. You know, in, in most films and books, you would be able to do that. You'd just be like, oh, and then the wall came down, and then he just had to go on by himself. But in this... They, they could have shifted those rocks. We all know that they could. Ooh. Hello. Drink it. I Baker 97 just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Or oh, it might be an L. Is that a lowercase L? Could be L Baker. Uh, why, ca uh, why can they fix Harry's glasses but not his eyesight? Yeah, you're right. That's it, Jeff. Oh, Obliviate. Talking of medieval. Oh, my God. Talking of, like, uh, mascot. Uh games like Medieval and with Jeff the Mongoose in chat. Uh, list went out yesterday about um, 10 forgotten 10 forgotten uh, video game platformer character pla mascot, that was it, it wasn't platform it was mascot video game mascots, it was a good list um, although I, I ended up Oh! I ended up changing the title just because I thought it would track better on YouTube and then that meant I had to change the number one. <laughs> Molly had written a very good script about, like, underrated, or what was it? Uh, what was the exact word? I can't remember. Unsung. Unsung platform. Uh, no, un I keep saying platform. Unsung mascots. And number one was actually Pac-Man, which was a good shout because... You know, he's definitely a mascot, or was at the time. But, um, you know, he's no longer considered to be one. But I was like, oh, if I'm calling it Forgotten, I can't I can't have Pac-Man at number one, so I had to change it. But it was a good list, though. It's out there right now for you guys to all watch. Hello? What on earth is this room now? TP, now you have missed Katie Paul a sub. Have I? Did I? Katie Paul, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's what you were trying to figure out. Katie Paul says, I figured it out. Subscribe by Twitch Prime. Oh, that are you trying to work out how to do Twitch Prime? Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to help there. Well, I'm glad that uh, I caught that now, thanks to Lord Brotovich, because he spent so long trying to work it out, and then he didn't even get your... You shout out. Let me just double check that I've not missed any. Where was the most? Where was the sub before that? I check. There's no gaps. Um. Oh, it's a long way up. Oh, it goes right to the top of where the chat history runs out. But I'm sure that must that must have been everyone. Uh, thank you, Lobrotovich, for pointing that out, and thank you, Katie Pole, for your subscription by Twitch Prime. Very kind. What's going on on my Twitter? Shut up, everybody. It's fine. Just calm, calm down. Jeez. It's my granddad's birthday today, everyone. Everyone wish my granddad happy birthday. Lost tunnel. I found it. Forgotten cavern. And mystery cave. Dark hall. God, this all sounds a bit intense, doesn't it? There is also a potion cauldron there for me to drink from later. Incendio! 
Oh, look at that. Oh, satisfying. Incendio! Incendio! Oh! Just instinctively stood on the thing that looked different on the floor without even checking what it was. The reason it looked different is because it was a hole. Anyway, I'm fine. Get off me. God, I quite like... It's a good voice, you know. It's got like an accent. Let me tear you. It's, I mean, it's really spooky and, and freaky, but it's good. Got to decide what game to play next, everyone. You know, even if we do eventually play the Prisoner of Arskaban. Oh! Uh, we won't be doing it on the next game. Well, you know, I like to have a break between my Harry Potters. Oh. Look at that, a little Verdumilius hole in the wall. Bring on the wall! What happens if I stand... Oh, it doesn't come back, okay. <laughs> I wanted to see what happened. I mean, I was thinking of the quick save before I do this, if I'm gonna... Oh my lord! Lego Star Wars, Unholy War Part 3. <laughs> uh... That's quite a loud sound effect, isn't it? Monsters Inc. Dark Souls. <laughs> Tomby says Katie Paul. That's a genuine. Um, that was one of the big contenders I've been thinking about. Uh, it would probably be Tomby Two if I was to play, but you don't need to know anything about Tomby One. Like ordinarily, I wouldn't like to play the second in a series without at least showing you guys the first one. But um, okay, so this is now slightly raised off the ground. Probably don't even need to do that one, I bet. Uh, that's a Buip from Louis J. Weber just subscribed and said, I've managed to jump back in just in time for my resub. Peeps, fancy a Mandalorian marathon when it's out? Dommy Bob's on me. Hey, that sounds great. Uh, problem is, in the UK, at the moment, we don't know if and when... Well, we know it will happen, not if, but we don't know when... Um, oh, do you think he's going to come alive, maybe? We don't know when Disney... Plus or whatever it's called is is going to be available. Well, they may have said it now, but like last I checked. Oh my God, he's a bit scary. This is like Dark Souls. Just a twelve foot knight coming at me. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked for the Mandalorian. Really excited to get my Star Wars fix. What? Do I have to bash it into the hole? What? Do I, do I push it? This is weird. Can we hit it from each side? Oh! Uh... What? Is there a grate on this thing? Is that... Oh, I can't go into aim mode, which is weird. I can hear like a... Like a... A little like grid noise. Okay, so it only goes this way. And it makes something jangle. Oh, oh! Hang on, something just fell from the ceiling. Sends rocks down here. What? What? Oh, this is really. That was really strange. What? Someone had to. Someone had to animate that. That rock rolling around. 
pointlessly. Because th there was no consequence. Was it just to draw my attention to the hole? I spotted the hole, thank you very much. Uh, hello? Oh, I see. Hang on, can I can I actually get on? Yeah, if you're quick, I think you can get onto that button. Just onto that platform. Sorry. Yeah. Uh... Jeez, that's a really strange design choice as well. I feel like the chamber, the chamber of secrets part of this game was just designed by a completely different person who's been doing everything so far. What did that even make appear? More like Verdim bollocks, am I right? Okay, it did that's what it made appear. I, I see. Yeah, Turn B2 is, a, is a, a contender. It's a fun little adventure. Something that I think is quite... Would make quite a good little episodic thing like these have done. Only thing is, it's quite... It is actually quite a chunky game. There's, there's like a lot of... There's a lot to it. And I feel like the retention wouldn't be that high. So I would, I think, basically what I'm saying is I think I think I would eventually be faced with a choice of do I continue this for those who are still watching and want to, you know, see the conclusion of the story or do I stop and change to something else because most of the audience aren't watching anymore because I feel like there would be a drop-off. That's the issue. Whereas with something like A Bug's Life and Harry Potter, because not only is it a franchise that people are aware of, but it's also um, an a like a, a game that people actually had themselves. Like they had the game as well as just being aware of Harry Potter and Pixar in general. You know, um, do I need my? Maybe I'll take my health potion now. So people are, uh, find it a little bit easier to stick with something like that because they kind of understand who everyone is, what's going on what the world is about, you know. People saying Gex. I've never pl uh, completed Gex. I played it a bit when I was younger. Um, I'd be more inclined to do a game that I have played and completed before. This is an exception to the rule because I, ha I hadn't really completed this as far as I remember. I, I can never remember where that No, I don't think I've ever completed this. Um, but, uh, you know, it was... It's a follow-up to the previous one. So that's... What? Oh, I see. So there was a a little grate on that. We broke through it with a rock and we just had... So when that rolling boulder was there, that was just like... The first time that boulder rolled, it made the, the grate fall out of the way, but then you just had the option to whack it again for some reason. Uh, yeah, I'm more inclined to play games... To, to, to stream games that I've played before. That I know... Greedor. We're back on Greedor. Klonoa, Toy Story 2, Jinx, Ape Escape, or Rayman are my shouts, so Schadenfreude. Toy Story 2 is a good shout. As I say, you know, something that's, um, you know, a franchise that people are aware of. That's always, that's always worth. That's also a game I've not completed, though, and there's a fair bit to it in terms of 100%ing it. But, yeah, colour me interested. Oh, no. These guys look like they're not really walking in any kind of synced pattern, which could be an issue. Oh, for God's sake. 
Mills Dirt, hi TP, just dropping in to say hello as I'm a busy boy. Hope the Walrus Clan is well also. Me too, I hope they're well also. Oh, I'm not even... Right, I'll stay out of his line of sight then, shall I? Jeez. This game looks like Skyrim now. Yeah, it does a bit. Okay, now I think what I can actually do is just follow this fella. Immediately tuck into that little pocket. Or is this guy going to... Yeah, he is going to see me. Right. Okay. Oh, no. Genuinely not sure what the path is here. Oh, yeah, I think it's just this. Just quickly let... Oh, no, he's going to see me. I oh, know he turned around. Oh, no! Does he turn around, though? Or does, does he walk the whole way around? Or, oh! I keep forgetting that that happens. You followed the wrong guy, says uh, Darkness Bladers. I don't know how much of a delay there was on that message. And whether you mean I, I initially followed the wrong guy, that guy, or if this, this guy is the wrong guy. But we'll see. There's 200 blipendos there from... Does he... Does this guy turn around? No? Oh, they're both coming at me now. I'm sandwiched. But you can't just break the game because they have a really bad cone of vision, apparently. Okay. I've quick saved because we're not doing that again. Ah! So, uh, Jim Corvette said, uh, 200 Blipendos. I would love it if you played the other Harry Potter games after this. Okay, well, I'll, I'm sure I'll play them eventually, for sure. Um, I won't play them immediately after this, but I'll definitely give Prisoner of Azkaban, Azkaban a go, eventually. That I can I can promise. That I, will, I will start it and see how it goes. That's a promise, eventually, on stream. Uh, the Far Wall makes a good point that there is always Lego Harry Potter, which I've not played either. I've played Lego Star Wars, really enjoyed it. Um, that's something we'll, I'll definitely be playing on stream um, in November, the new Star Wars game. Oh! Oh, was I not paying attention? Is that the thing I literally just went up? Yeah, I think it was. My bad. I think it would be worth a shot with Tomb 2. I don't know how well known Beyond Good and Evil was. At least I didn't really knew about it before the streams. And I think people loved the streams. That's a good point. People did seem to stick with Beyond Good and Evil. Might be worth just giving Tomb 2 a try to begin with. Because I think it's quite a nice... It's actually quite a nice visual spectacle to watch. It's very colourful and uh, there's a lot going on. It's quite fast paced and there's... Some interesting characters and voice acting and some really weird, like, balked lines that they've done. And it should be an experience. It, I think I think I might try that for, like, an initial two-hour stream. And then when we get to the end of that, we'll kind of decide there and then. Do I go on Ginny, and probably finish Ginny, the whole thing? <laughs> Ginny, don't be dead! But only just. Um, Ginny's been writing in the diary for months. Oh, here he is. It's Tom Riddle. And as she did, I grew stronger until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and Filch's cat. I'm afraid Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf, Hagrid. To gain your trust. I'm telling you my whole plan. To lead another in my footsteps. To finish the work of Salazar Slytherin. I knew you were on the trail of Slytherin's heir. So I led Ginny down here to wait. 
Tom Riddle with my filthy non-magical father thing. Do you see it yet, Harry? I am Lord Voldemort, and now, Harry, I am going to teach you a little lesson. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts four. Young and Evil was pretty good. Oh, here it is. It's the Basilisk. Uh, I see why you like it, peeps, but the disc table game, the one that defeated you, that's what it's all about. Does it still eat away at you every second of every day, peeps? Forks! Sorry, I mind my language. Oh, that just made a sound effect. Oh, I recognise that monster sound effect. It just did. Oh, no. I'm reading the chat, Basilisk. Don't... Hang on. Jim Corvette says, What happened to his face? 200 blipendos there. We have changed, I should point out, Jim. I, I will read your two messages in Robot Lady's voice, but we've changed the, the threshold for text-to-speech on uh, blips to, I think, about 400. I think it's 400-ish, like 399. Uh, I would love it if you played the other HP games after this. And... Uh, what happened to his face? How's that? Peter, would you play Star Wars Bounty Hunter ever? It could coincide with the release of The Mandalorian. That's a good shout. Uh, I've got that on my PS4, actually. Um, I feel like that game was good and is fondly remembered, but is slightly less exciting on a replay. I didn't finish it when I bought it for PS4 and replayed it because it's actually kind of difficult. Um, it's certainly difficult to take people alive for bounties, you know? You just have to kill everyone because uh, you're just constantly getting shot at. But uh, Lord Velvita Moore says, is the threshold 420 blips? It should be. It should be. Lord Robert says, wasn't it 300 blips? It might be, I can't remember. Um, it was a while since we change, changed it, and I think we actually changed it twice. Uh, it may be 300, I'm not, I could I could look it up, but I'm, I'm not sure. Um, how about Jedi Knight 2, says Imperium. Yeah, I wanna, I'd like to play Jedi Academy when that, they're re-releasing that early next year. I know at the moment, um, Jedi Outcast has been re-released, and I need to need to get that and play it. I've never played Jedi Outcast. All these games that I'm listing off, I've just never played. Um, well, actually, no, I, I played it a little bit on Steam, but I've never finished it. Um, played Jedi Academy over and over and over again. I've played that so much, uh, but not Jedi Outcast, so I might, I might have to get hold of that. and Well, I will get hold of it and play it for sure. Um, cool. Galactic Conquest mode on Battlefront 2 PS2. Yeah, I mean, I, I could do. I don't know if you know, do pe people really want to see just me fighting as a soldier, just an, an, an anonymous, nameless stormtrooper for two hours at a time. How? This venom hurts. That's not it, is it? No, I've got the sword. I can barely hear him over the top of the venom. Oh, he's sucking me in. Wow! Oh, you can aim it. Oh, this is pretty cool. Step back. Oh my god, it's like hard to aim. Oh, <laughs> I've only done a little chunk of his health there. This might take a while. Kill Ginny with it. Laser snack. No. Ow, this is very 
Ow! This venom hurts. Why is it not hurting him? Man, this game sucks. It's not very responsive. Okay, let's get him. Oh, I've just realised why it's not aiming very well is because I'm using the thumbstick to do it, and actually the thumbstick is really badly like the thumbstick just doesn't work on this emulator. Um, I've played this whole game, this whole playthrough, and the previous one, Philosopher's Stone. Uh, oh, god damn it! Uh, using the I'm blocking it. Using the the D-pad, so I've, I'm presumably I need to be aiming with the D-pad as well because it's just not going to be doing what I want it to do. Yeah, that's a bit better. There we go. It still whips around all over the place, but I guess that's intentional. Ah! ah! Yeah. Okay, we're, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. How can it see me? That's my question. Hurt him! Whipped it all over his face there. It didn't work. I guess I have to get it right in the middle of his mouth where the target reticle is, but... Yeah, like down a bit. Oh no, I have to get it on his nose, that's it. The little glowing nose fangs. I think? I think it just registered when I hit his little red fangs. That's, that's experiment. Nose? Yes, nose. I think. It's, it's weird. Nose fangs. Harry Potter and the Jewel of the Fates. Get his nose. Harry, get his nose, Harry. Oh. oh I thought he was changing form then. He had a little, little rest. Come on! Okay, that was that was better at the end there. A couple more of those, and he'll be dead as a as a as a dead basilisk. Oh, oh good. Man. I think. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, we've got to do we have to do it all again. We have to do it all again. How much do we have to do again? Just the boss fight, hopefully. JK Rowling. The climax sees Harry facing a basilisk with the sword of Gryffindor, game developer. Say no more. I know just what you mean. <laughs> he deflects the, the He defect deflects the snake's venom laser. Using the sword. Oh, hang on, I need to shoot it now. Open your mouth. Open your little gobber. Come on, open up. Ah! Will he just bite me if I get really close? No. Man, I hate snakes so much. Forks! Clang, 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 clang!
We need to get nice and close. It might be easier to aim from close up. Don't know. Let's try. I'll try getting really close. He has put venom all over the floor though. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that was any any better. Oh, I think he'd just try and bite me then, though. Yeah, he does. Oh, that's good, actually, because then he just immediately goes on to charge mode again. That's just a quick way of getting straight... Oh! really bad at aiming that bite. I'll just stand here and let him because because <laughs> the other the other attack takes ages. Well relatively speaking. We'll just do that. We'll stand here. Let him whip me. Try and bite me. Miss immediately. Charge. And attack me with the, the snack laser again. about the bite for a second there. Uh, Mr. Resender says you can't still flip Hendo him, can you? No, I can't. If only. It's a laborious process, is it not? I've done a quick save there, because this is this has gone on too long. It's two minutes until the, the 420 number. You know, the, the sexy one. Snack. Severus snack. Oh, that was a good one. Oh. Oh. Okay, we nearly got him. We've got half a health bar to go. He's got like a quarter. A bit less than... Oh, sorry, I let go. At least the snake isn't yelling die Potter constantly like the final boss in the last game. Die Potter! Oh, we've nearly done it! This is the one! Die Potter! Harry, go to the bathroom and beat Tom's snake. Your friend, Hagrid. Beat the Potter! There are bonus basilisk hidden in this mine. Bang! Stab the Horcrux that you don't know is a Horcrux. Did he just throw his diary at me angrily? He did. Ah! So can someone remind me? I did know this. I think it's sort of addressed. Oh, Ginny, what are you, what are you gonna do? He's unconscious. He can't give consent. 420 everyone, blaze it. Blaze it, my dudes. Um. There was silence. Silence except for the steady drip, drip of ink still oozing from the diary. Yeah, someone, someone remind me, although it is explained in, in like the last book. Shaking all over that Tom Riddle, that's not actual Voldemort, is it? That's like the part of his soul in the, in the Horcrux is coming out to get him. Riddle made me. He took me over. It's not sort of real present day Voldemort. It's just like a kind of echo of him or a piece of his soul, isn't it? Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. They were flying upwards, and before he'd stopped enjoying the ride, it was over. All three of them were hitting the wet floor of Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Well, Harry told them everything. 
He told them about here Did they leave Lockhart down there? How Hermione had found Stevens goes with three little blependos there. Thank you very much. How Aragog had told him where the last victim of the Bastille Yeah, it's a memory or projection of his past self from the diary. Yeah, I, th I thought so. I was just double checking. And that the entrance to the Basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years It's not corporeal, and therefore he shouldn't be able to pick up the diary. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, I guess if he's not corporeal, that explains why he didn't try and just kill Harry with his bare hands. He had to use the snake. Harry managed to release Dobby from the slavery of Lucius Malfoy. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the They're sort of very quickly wrapping up the end of the story here, aren't they? And as for Harry, well, once again... He truly was. Look at those eyes, as green as a pickled toad. Oh! Ah! No! I don't like it! Right, let's see if there's some end game where we can wander the halls. Finally, let's see who will win this year's house cup. I don't think there will be, but that would allow us to potentially be able to do the lesson again. But even then, I mean, Lockhart's now lost his memory, so I bet the lesson wouldn't even be available if that was an option. Respectable. Ravenclaw, you got 100 points there. Good for you. Huffly Puffly. 100. 120? That's like a fraction of the of the sex number. Slytherin. Oh, Slyth... <sighs> Gryffindor, we're going to fill it up? Gryffindor. Yeah, boy. Are in the lead on house points. I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. I've won the house cup. Nice. I know it wasn't done by current Slytherins, but I feel like they should lose points for the chamber being opened. <laughs> da, 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 da. Well, there we go. That was Harry Potter. <laughs> Tell the truth. What do you see? He lies. Let's look out for the for the Ross one. There's Ricky Gervais. Lewis Brindley there. Or some I don't know who that is. I wonder if these are actually some of these are um Oh, I bet some of these are the developers. Cause some of them are like so clearly pixel art, but then they've got like an actual face on them. Like that, it just looks a bit strange, doesn't it? I bet, I bet they've put... Oh, it is, look. It's the names of the people. The names that are coming up are the faces that we can see on screen. So that's Leon's... Oh, there you go. Love it. Wouldn't it be weird if the guy who looks like Ross was like a, a twiddle? A twaddle. There's Shelley Johnson. Looking very obviously like a face has been photoshopped on. There he is. Justin Char Charvona. He's the head of the audio department. Ross. Oh my god. Chris Sweetman. I hope that whole head is his actual one. Oh. Lord Farquaad. Richard Griffiths. Curie manager Richard Pareya. Oh, I like this, though. This is why there's so many. I did wonder why there was that much art around the place. Simon Deal, Jason Kanzen, David Lane. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone team. Aw, oh, because they used their engine, see? Are they singing? No, they're not. Are they cute? No, they're not Cupid. Yorkshire Cupids, are they? Oh! Hello. Oh, someone did a little bubble there. So now we've we've panned away from the portraits because uh, 
because this because the EA team weren't on on the portraits. Interesting. I like that. Now we'll finally know if that picture really was Ben. Oh yeah, where was the Ben one? Maybe they weren't all photoshopped. Gee, I'm glad they didn't do this for Far Cry 5. <laughs> Oh, Jeremy Saul. What's the latest on that story? Is he still disgraced? Or Oh, look at Sarah Hobson off-center there. God, I wouldn't stand for that if I was quality assuring these credits. I have to look out for things like that with our video editors. Please make sure you center your titles. Thank you. That's what I'm like. That's what it's like trying to work under me. Miserable. F in the chat for all our freelance video editors who have to get emails from me saying please move that three pixels to the left thank you oh the the two avis brothers or not no there's a, a, a boy and a girl there Ch chilling chilling girian chilling girian charlotte fudge stephen fry joshua jalul that's an interesting name eve carp Marina Neal, two first names. Cecil Prompts just says, a line center. Yeah, I mean, literally. Quality assurance. Well, you didn't check the credits, did you? For centered, centered text. Ricky Watts, Stu Williams. Well, I mean, it's half past, it's only half past four. I've got an idea for a, a filler game. Oh, there they are. Crab and Goyle. Gonna quickly grab uh, an ISO for a game that I do I do actually own at home, so it's fine. It's legal. I could show you my physical box if I if I was at home, which I'm not. But um, <laughs> Lord Robert says Unholy War again. No, people didn't like the <laughs> didn't like that. <laughs> Some did, not enough. I love that game, but I did grow up with it, so it's kind of understandable. Oh, the suspense! Please, no more sexy serial killer. No, don't worry. Don't worry! Yeah. Your physical box is beautiful. Thank you, Jared Coulter. Very kind. Got some long ass credits. Finger licking, good game, leisure suit, Larry. No, none of these. It's got like seven minutes remaining. It's a slow download. That's weird. These credits probably have seven minutes remaining, to be honest. You can always play a game of Quidditch as well, actually. I think on the front menu, you're able to... Uh... Oh, here he is. The sort of puffed up pigeon looking... Sorry, lineared up pigeon that is Dumbledore. Look at him. That, that beard just looks like a big pigeon chest. Also, he's got square glasses on that, and everyone knows he wears half-moon spectacles, don't we? Uh, Peeps, my girlfriend, who is German, is visiting this weekend. What message would you like me to pass on to her? Uh, Deine vagina ist uh, schön. Tell her that. It doesn't mean beautiful. I can't remember the word for beautiful. It means sort of pleasant. <laughs> Your vagina is pleasant. Medieval demo took three hours to download. God. It's more than you want. Oh, Simpsons Hit and Run, that is also a good shout. It's not so easy to um, emulate PS2 games. Or, like, sometimes we just... We plug them in. Oh! What? 
We're back in. Let's just see. I find it highly unlikely, but let's just see if... Oh, hello. What? What? <laughs> I want to see if Lockhart's lesson is available. Can I actually get into the castle? Lots of portraits. A dangerous jump. Oh, Herbology Greenhouses. Herbology Greenhouse 3. Huh? Defense against the Dark Hearts! We can do it! We're going to 100% this goddamn effing game! But it said that it said that you can't. But we're gonna. Oh my god. It literally just fills Colin's book with like every room in the castle that has anything that's worth collecting. It just perfectly facilitates. Oh hang on, should we just start this again? How do I Oh this is great. I did not, I honestly didn't expect this. I really didn't. Right. Defense against the dark hearts. Actually, I think I've done the race already, haven't I? Oh, never mind. I'll just do it. I'll have one more go at it, and if I fail it, I'll just. Oh, actually, I can check on the pause menu, can't I? Oh, and it says restart section two. Oh, this game has everything. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Report card. Oh yeah, we've done the race. We just need to... Oh god, yeah, we've got to perfect the lesson, haven't we? That's definitely going to take some cheater Austining, For sure. I'm just going to do this anyway, just because just I can. I fancy it, but... Oops. Oh well, now I've buggered it. I'll just... I'll just qu no, not quick game. Ah. Oh. Right, let me walk back through that door and we'll just go straight to the lesson. I am I am shocked. I'm shocked that this is an option. <laughs> Lobrovich says, thank God you didn't replay the game. Yeah, you're right. Oh, they knew it. The devs knew it. I'm really pleased because they actually did put a lot of effort into making sure that you could 100% the game. And that no areas were like locked off or like one time only. But then it seemed like they just slightly effed up. And they'd like gone to all this effort except made the, the lesson replayable. But apparently we got this. So I think what I'm hoping is that we will complete this lesson. Then when we've got all the school class trophies in the common room... It will give us a Witches and Wizards card, and then when we've got almost all the Witches and Wizards cards bar one, there will be an unlockable door in the dueling area for the final card. I think that's how this is going to work. Louis Weber wants to know what the filler game was that I had in mind. We might still just have time for one one session in it, so... Very stylish! Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Oh, that was great. That was a hundred percent. Yes, Lockhart. That's the easy one. Ready now. Dear, dear. Perfection. Splendid. Perfection. Perfection. How was that? Okay, I'll take it. One more to go. Get ready. Perfection. Perfection. Oh dear. Oh no. Sorry, yeah. Professor. Oh Circle, dear. triangle, X, square. Circle, triangle, X, square. Circle, triangle, X, square. Just like me. I didn't perfect some of those though.
Okay. One more to go. Circle, square, triangle, square, circle, square, triangle, square, Very stylish. Just like me. Is that enough? I don't know if it is. What do you think, Lockhart? 83. I think I have to get 90, do I? For an A? Oh! You've earned the passable grade. Would you like to try again, Harry? I'll, I'll try again on my 100% Cheetah Austin save file. Thank you. Just like me. Perfection! Very stylish. Okay, that's like 90 odd percent, I think. Ninety five, I'll save that. One more to go. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Splendid. Perfection. Perfection. Is that it? Have we done it? Oh, yeah. I think it's like eighty four, eighty five, judging off like what the last bar said. Yes, that's an A. You've earned a grade A. Congratulations. Thank you, You've Professor. The defense well done. You have now won all the house cups and shields. A founder famous witches and wizards card is now waiting for you in your common room. You know it. Damn right. A founder one? That's all there is to it, Potter. Well done. Oh, so I'm, this is going to be Gryffindor. So there is just a one random card laying around in the castle somewhere, I think. And then and then I think we've 100%ed. So this is a founder's card. It's going to be Godric Gryffindor, is it? Uh, let's just see. Oh, see, there's one in... What? Oh. Oh, I see. So there were two lessons, weren't there? And that private lesson that you have with him doesn't contribute towards the, the lessons cup. So instead, he gives you a card, I guess. All oh, right, well, that's it. So, well, nearly. We're going to pick up this card in the common room. God, I thought we were going to the burrow then. <laughs> that was weird. Here we go. Godric Gryffindor. Godric Gryffindor. And now... So the Quetzal's back. So the Quetzal, I don't know at what point you left, but apparently we can replay lessons. We're post credits. We've killed the snack. And we're going for the final card in the Defense Against the Dark Arts spell lesson two. Again, I'm, I may have to cheat or Austin in this. Come to try the Petrificus Totalus spell again. You should do better this time. Would you like to make improvements to your current grade, Harry? Yes, I would. Sorry, Professor. I'm just installing a, an, I, an ISO while <laughs> while we're uh, while we're chatting. Don't mind me. Uh, just in case. Extracted there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yes, yes, Professor. Prof professor. Watch my expensive wand as it moves <laughs> and press the symbol. I do like that line. It's a good line. Do this three times. And you will learn Verdimilia Duo. Circle. Are you ready? Oh, it's, it's a scary one where it's, it's circled twice. Perfection! Perfection! Splendid! I don't know if that was very good. What was that? 80 odd? 80% maybe on the head? Oh, 83. Okay. That's the easy one. Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. I'm in the microwave. I'm going to pull it up to 84, possibly. 84, 85. I think I only missed one of them. Oh, 95. Wow. Okay. One more to go. Get ready. I've saved. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Who even needs the Cheater Austin tactics? I think I've done it. I think I've done it in one. Come on, Prof. Give me that card. Yes. Be a whip. 
Oh, that's an A though, isn't it? You've earned a great A. Congratulations. Splendid. Thank you, Prof. Crispin Crunk. Crispin Crunk. That's all there is to it, Potter. Well done. Oh. Wobbly Pants uh, gifted a sub to the far wall. Gifted a, a total of four on the channel. Thank you, Wobbly Pants. And uh, the far wall, congratulations. You are now subscribed. Oh! Oh no. It's gonna fail. Okay, here we go. Oh, I, Professor, just let me leave. I've got the card. I don't know if I quit, whether I'll be able to take the card with me or not. I think I better just try and get to the end. Strange. Why is the door locked? I'd better find another way around. Yes. This should now take me back, I think. And that might be it. I think we might have... I think we might have just gone and... 100 percent in the game! Oh! Close the book. Saving. The way I can find out for sure is by going to the save option. Is there a save book in here? There should be. No? Oh wait, yeah, now if I go in here, because that locked door still exists, even though there's not, apparently not a card behind it, I guess it's just the 100% door. Um, so presumably I've now got 100% and this magical door will be open to me. Oh, I see no lock. See no lock, friends. I have no idea what to expect here. Might be something really dull. Or it might be fantastic. Might be credits. It might be... He might get a, a big kiss from Ginny Weasley. Uh, it's... A oh it's scary music, it's some kind of photo album or book. Is it a replay any level version of Colin's photo album, or is it like a photo of uh, someone outside the door there? Jack Jack the Job is watching. Just watching He's just watching. We've one hundred percented the game, Jack. What are you playing on? Uh, Chamber of Secrets. Oh God. And I don't know what this... I've just walked into the 100% reward room and there's something sitting on the table. We're about to find out what it is. Someone has murdered my cat. Yeah. We've I mean, already passed, we've passed that bit. Yeah, right? that's long oh. gone. Oh, it's concept, concept art. art. Lovely. Nice. Ron Weasley. Oh, he's saying... Ron Weasley. He's saying <laughs> who he is. I'm Hermione Granger. And, and you, you are... You are... fun. Thanks, Jack. Sorry. See you later. Draco Malfoy. Oh, there's me. Well, there you go. Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> a bomb FM says it's going to be a Nick mini game. It unlocks the nude mod. Maybe it's nude Hagrid. Everyone wanted nudes. I mean, I you know. I'll scroll through this concept art. You never know. There he is. Hagrid. Your friend Hagrid. Gilderoy Lockhart. It's not even really concept art, is it? It's just. Madam Hooch. Well, she wasn't even in this game, so. <laughs> Professor McGonagall. I should have known you'd be here, Professor McGonagall. Professor Sprout. Professor Snape. Professor Snack. Guy Trash. What? A Guy Trash? Now I happen to know what a Guy Trash is because I'm a, I'm a bit of a nerd for British folklore, but. Is is the guy trash actually in Harry Potter though? A guy trash in British folklore is a black dog, 
Um, there's lots of black dog legends up and down the British Isles. Um, in fact, one of the words for a ghostly black dog is a padfoot, which is what Sirius is when he turns into a black dog. Or a grim is also a similar name for it. It's just the same kind of creature that like haunts um, like lanes, like ghostly like little wooded lanes and stuff in Britain. But I've never heard of a guy trash in the context of Harry Potter. What else is... Hagrid's hut. Harry Potter wiki guy tra trash. Well, it is on the wiki. And, <laughs> and the art that they've used for it is actually the one... Let me just uh, enhance on... Sorry, I'm sitting on my leg here. That's how I'm comfortable sometimes. Uh, they did just use... Oh, that's not going to really work, is it? Because that's so overexposed. But I assure you, it's... There it is. Can you tell that that's the same image? Weird. Um, but it is apparently in the Harry Potter universe. Um, Woodlands of Great Britain... Oh, Gilroy Lockhart wrote about guy trashes in Marauding with Monsters, apparently. There you go. Behind the scenes, the guy trash is a supernatural creature in English folklore. It's described as a black dog that also sometimes takes the form of a spectral mule. It's similar and possibly related to the Grim, or indeed the Padfoot, or... Oh, there's so many names for those black dogs. Um, so it appears in... Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone video game on GameCube, Xbox, and PS2 only, not PS1. So it actually appears in the games. And similarly... Oh, so I think that might be concept art for the PS2 version of this game as well. So I think... I think there was a guy trash in... Guy trash. Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets on PS2. Yeah, there you go. A bomber fam is also looked up. Basilisk. Basilisk. Chamber of secrets. The chamber of snacks. Snackheads. Herbology greenhouse. Herbology. It's got a tree grown out of it. It's not much of a greenhouse if there's holes in it. Well, the heat will come Aragog's out. Aragog's pit lair. Aragog's pit lair. Sounds like a nightclub. An imp. An imp. <laughs> Filch. For a crowder in the forbidden corridor. Moaning Myrtle. Isn't wearing glasses. Isn't flying. Oh, I guess that's before she died, but she should still be wearing glasses. Professor Snape, sir. I found this in the forbidden section. It's still hot. Nearly headless Nick. Which means there's a student out of bed. Oh. Harry's bedroom at Trivet Drive. Harry's bedroom in Privet Drive. That's a cosy enough bedroom. I don't know why he complains. Ford Anglia. It's got a face. Oh my god. No. Oh, people are people are shouting. Lord Brotovich. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you hear? You've missed all this. I'll go back. Ford Anglia. I didn't realise I'd not shit and change back. It's because I so rarely go to face cam. Hang on. It's got a face. The Ford Angular has a face. Harry's bedroom at Trivet Drive. <laughs> My apologies. My apologies, everyone. It's cosy bedroom. There it is. That's the one I was talking about. We're back. Nearly headless Nick. There's nearly headless Nick. Moaning Myrtle. No glasses, not flying. I'm just going over the commentary that I made previously. Filch. Argus Filch there. An imp. An imp. The only one with an article to it for some reason. Aragog's Pit Lair. Aragog's Pit Lair, the nightclub. Herbology Greenhouse. Herbology Greenhouse has a hole in the roof. Not a very good greenhouse, is it? If it's got a hole in the roof with the tree grown out of it. Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Snackheads. A basilisk. Just basilisk. Hagrid's hut. Hagrid's hoot. That's it. Now we've got to scroll all the way through him. Oh yeah, it was Dudley's second bedroom, wasn't it? 
Herbology greenhouse. Aragog's pit lair. An imp. An imp? <laughs> Sorry, that's so weird. An imp. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Moaning Myrtle. Nearly headless Nick. Let's all throw books at Myrtle because she can't feel it. Ford Anglia. I hate it. Why does it have a face? Gnome. Gnome. Forks the fiend. Language. A fumous bat flamer. A fumous bat flamer. Yes, one of those. A puffer pod. A puffer pod. Puffer pod. Great fun to throw around. That's uh, sexy Oliver Wood. I don't think it is actually. Um. Empyrean Seven says, "Peeps, please go back to Yorkshire Cupids." I am temp. You know, I was thinking that. I might just quickly nip back to the common room after this and go back and do the cupids. The Forbidden Forest is here too. Tom Riddle. Tom Riddle. Trollbridge, Forbidden Forest. Trollbridge. Arthur Weasley's automatic washing machine. Yes, the, the classic character. And that's the end. That's the, that's the last page in the book. Arthur Weasley's automatic washing machine. Fantastic. Well, there we go. I don't know why there's spooky music in this room. But that's that. We've 100 percent of the game. Ford Ugler. Puffer pods. So uh, sorry, linear pods. My favourite HP character was the was Mr. Weasley's automatic washing machine. We're going to do Yorkshire Cupids, and then we're uh, we've got time for a quick game of filler game. Well, I don't. You've got to decide now. Do you want Yorkshire Cupids, or do you want a quick match on? Um, Oh, I'm doing it anyway. We'll see if there's time for a quick match of PS1's Hogs of War. I've downloaded an ISO for that. It should be fun. Oh god, was it was it after this? Before this? Oh, it might not actually be replayable, because I think you can only replay stuff that has collectibles available. And I don't know if there was one for Valentine's Day gnome, goblins, cupids, some strange platforms, a room full of Bertie Bots, every flavour beans, scary suits of armour, do you know any pumpkin patch? Hogs will take a while due to how slow it is. Should be right if I only do two teams on deathmatch mode rather than on survival mode. We will overrun a tiny bit, but um, yeah. Well, I was thinking like I need to leave on time. I was thinking, oh, I need to leave on time today because I've got a train to catch, but I can't leave until half past five anyway. So I don't mind. Like it's literally, it will make literally no difference if we play a bit of Hogs of War and overrun for ten minutes. Versus, you know, if I finish the stream early, I'll still have to, you know, I've got to work at my desk for another half an hour. So uh, we'll play some Hogs of War. Okay. Well, that's that, everyone. We have 100% of this game. Kicked its ass. That was fun. I really enjoyed that, you know. Chamber of Secrets is not really up there with my favourite actual stories. There's Quidditch League as well that, you know, is, is apparently a thing, but... I don't really just want to play like four games of Quidditch. Um, wow, okay. So that was that. F for the Cupids, yeah, you're right. Thank you, everyone. Um, so. Hogs of War. This might not run, by the way. Obviously, not. You know, I've not tested it. I've literally just downloaded it now. Oh, it's opening the wrong window for one thing. 
can't see it. Hang on. Quit. Yes. Uh, when I say the wrong window, I meant the wrong screen. Uh, run ISO. Hogs of War. That's better. Display settings. Da -da. Oh, whoops, sorry. Oh, actually, there's it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Precisely. And as soldiers, our job is to fight, destroy, with guns and bombs uh, and knives and, and with your bare hands. <laughs> but before that avenue of pleasure, a series of training films to prepare you for every eventuality in the theater of warfare. Anyone recognize the voice yet? Roll it! You might, you might recognize it now. It's the same voice actor, but he does a different voice now. Armies on the march. A world divided. The threat of attack from the land, the sea, and the air. No Sunday roast this week. While the soldiers are in the thick of it, at home this... <laughs> no Sunday roast around, this week. Like making high explosive bombs. Anti-tank bombs. And making other, other bombs. bombs. So let's make the most of it. That's the ticket. And remember, lads, a war is won at home and not just on the battlefield. There is no excuse for malingering. With any luck, it will blown over by Christmas. Hogs of War, ladies and gentlemen. Rick Mayall, the late great, he did a lot of the voice work for this game. People often credit him as having done all the voice work for this game, which is not true. I think you'll find. Uh, but he sure did a lot of it. No, multiplayer. Why is the music not playing? This is like an American version, and for some reason the, the menu music isn't playing. It should play the uh, Colonel Bogey March, which is the better known as the um, the Monty Python theme tune. Put on Deathmatch because it should go quicker. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Ridgeback, I, I guess. I don't know. So... Fair warning for anyone who's, who doesn't know what this game is. Um, it's um, satirical? Question uh, mark. There's there's some some slightly racist depictions of different nations. Well, of all the nations. That's the that's the, the key thing. Is that. There are stereotypes of everyone and anyone in this game, and no single race or individual is picked out. I would say the Japanese team is probably the most offensive, but, uh, you know, uh, basically every single pig on every single team, uh, and there's like up to eight pigs, uh, all have an individual voice with an individual personality. Um, often, I mean, even look, at, just look at the team names. It's, they're... they're combination puns of both the nation that they represent and also pigs um sauerkrauts tommy's trotters that's the british the sauerkrauts the germans of course garlic grunts are the french uncle ham's hogs uh the americans as in uncle sam uh piggy striker that's an obscure one perestroika was a russian thing that i remember 
vaguely from GCSE history. I don't really remember what it was. And the sushi swine. Um, <laughs> we won't be playing as the Japanese team because they are bordering on actual racist stereotypes. Uh, I think the German team is fine and funny. I will play as I will play as the British. Uh, you can change like what what type of like soldier you want, and they have different weapons and stuff. But we'll just keep them keep them as that. And you can rename your team, and you can rename your players. It is a lot like Worms. It's a turn based um, turn based thing. Uh, it's three D, but it's better than Worms three D. Um, but it's Hello, what am I looking for? Sauerkraut. But it's very much a humorous game. Perestroika was one of Gorbachev's big policies, says Trialing Badger. Thank you, Trialing Badger, our local historian there, archaeologist. The whole if we offend everyone, then it's okay logic really wore out its welcome, to be honest. And Barlam. I, I, I won't. I won't disagree with you. I'm, all I will do is warn you that if you don't want to hear German stereotype accents, might be time to leave. Um, I think it, this is aged for something that you know is. It does poke fun at various. It pokes fun at like wartime attitude, like imperialism and stuff. You know, like World War One and World War Two. Um, in equal measure uh, for something that has that kind of vibe to it it's aged reasonably well that checkerboard by the way means that's a minefield that he's getting close to this guy's really just wasting his time just jetpacking around the place come on he ran out of time yep. okay uh, god what are the controls how do I open my Oh no, the select button isn't mapped to this controller. I can't open my goddamn inventory. Oh, and also the jump button has a bit of a lag on it, apparently. Well, I can't... Oh, this is great, isn't it? Well, there we go. That's the end of that. I hope you all enjoyed Hogs of War. Um, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I can't get a weapon out. I can't open my inventory. I could quickly try and map it, but no, that's, that's just not going to work. Fantastic. Well, that's that's what you that's what you get for playing a game on the fly like that. Um, sorry, everyone. It would take that long for me to to fanny around with the emulator. That by the time I've done that, it will be coming up on and and played a match that it will be coming up on half past five. That was cut short very abruptly, wasn't it? We might try. I might try and play that at some point later on. I'll make sure it works and that I map the select button to the emulator for future. Um, you know, next time we finish a game midstream, might play around a Fox of War. So really, I, I'm surprised actually that as many people in the chat don't seem to really know what it is. Um, Monty Python music is Liberty Bell, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Colonel Bogey is something else. Uh, that's... Hitler has only got one ball, that song, isn't it? I think that's the, the Colonel Bogey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It certainly ended before Christmas for the little piggies. Yes, it did. Uh, yeah, well, that, that, that's, that, that's how that goes. But, um, yeah, surprised that... Um, as many people didn't really realise what that was. But it's it's actually a pretty well... It's a fondly remembered game, in spite of how technically bad it is. It is actually It does actually run really badly. It's pretty ugly, even for its time. But Rick Mayall just carried it with his comedy and his voice acting. There's a, uh, uh, a single-player campaign, which is like... Again, for what they had to work with, they actually did a reasonably good job of like doing some interesting uh, objective... Uh, some like interesting maps where they like build little fortresses for you to like attack and stuff, um, but uh, yeah, you know, you guys, if you're not aware of that, you should check it out. It's actually a pretty fun game, um, and as I say, carried very much by the voice acting. Adam Douglas Jones says, "Any comedy actors today you reckon would be good to bring their voice talents to video games today?" Well, I've often thought like a remastered 
I'd love to see a remastered Hogs of War, and I know a lot of people would. I know that's not exactly what you're asking me, but I've thought I'd love to see Hogs of War brought out again. And there was talk for a short time, I think Infograms were thinking of making a sequel. Um, of course, Rick Mayall is now no longer with us. And I think if they were to ever bring back Hogs of War, they should either just recycle his uh, his old lines of dialogue uh, or possibly try and find another comedian to do a similar job. It's, it's quite immature humour in um, Hogs of War. It's like almost toilet humour and it, it kind of works really well. It like really... Um, uh, you know, you've got the serious of world war going on, and then at the same time, there's like some like really stupid fart jokes and like, you know, just just really stupid jokes about like, I'm, I'm trying to even think of of examples, but like it makes the soldiers have to be really wimpy and pathetic, and uh, it's kind of it's a nice juxtaposition. So it would have to be that kind of comedian, like Rick Mayall, who was very much a bit of a toilet humour, slapstick kind of guy. Um, and I don't know who you would, you know, who you would have nowadays who would do something like that. Um, don't know. You guys, you guys have a think. MD Games subscribed. Thank you very much. And says, tip top streamers. Well, that's very kind of you. You guys are a tip top audience. Um, and, uh, there you go. So that was my little uh, my little chat about Hogs of War. Greg Davies could do the voice for it. I mean, just because he looks like Rick Mayall. I mean, yeah, I guess he sounds a bit like him too. Uh, yeah, maybe Greg Davies. <laughs> um, anyway, that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll try and play that game at some point. But in the meantime, I've got to get deciding on what I want to play. On Monday, 3 p.m. BST... Um, very tempted to give Turn B2 a go. So that's, in all likelihood, what I'll uh, be playing. But I will... I'll probably... probably head upstairs, have a, just have another a proper think when I'm not also juggling a live stream at the same time about what I could play. And I might do a Twitter poll, like I have done in the past. Because um, one of the game I would love to play, actually, at some point, is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance which is like a third person, it's almost, it's not isometric because it's like fully, a fully rotatable 3D camera, but it's from that kind of angle. It's not quite top down. It's from that, that angle up in the sky at like, you know, 50 degrees up in the air. Um, from the, like the, the other Baldur's Gate games that you, you probably are aware of, or like, um, you know, Diablo, it's that kind of top down third person, Hack and slash RPG set in a fantasy location. Really fun game. Really good looking game for its time. Jeremy Saul soundtrack, which we like. So at some point I'd like to play that. Um, but I'll, I'll have a think about some options and put a, put a Twitter poll up. Anyway, I'm rambling as I always do at the end of my stream. So it's time to end now. But thank you very much. And uh, check out my Twitter you know, in the next few hours for probably a Twitter poll on what we should play next. But it might be Turn B2, it might not be. Uh, much love, and uh, um, thanks for being with me for Chamber of Secrets. That was really fun, and I'm really glad we all played it together. Um, great. We 100 percent it, everyone. We effing did it. Can't believe it. Fantastic. Much love, everyone. Have a good weekend. Uh, bye!